adventures, how's it going? Today I am at Point Whitehorn, and this is a marine reserve that I've never been to before. It's here out near Birch Bay, which I'll show you a little map right here where I'm located. There's a couple reasons why I'm here today. For one, it's a gorgeous sunny day. This time of the year, you don't get very many of these days, and when you do, it's good to take advantage of them. And I actually haven't been taking advantage of them lately. Uh, when I moved here to Washington, I expected to be doing a lot more hiking, and that's kind of felt a little disappointing for me. I used to be a really strong hiker. Back when I lived in California, I did a lot of hiking, some very strenuous hikes with a good friend of mine, and we were in really good shape at that time. And getting back to that point has felt, well, daunting is probably the best word for it. I just, I, I think I have been avoiding it a lot because I want to feel like I'm as strong of a hiker as I used to be and, and that's unrealistic at this point. And so I feel the best way to go about changing that is to, you know, get out and hike and not worry about the strenuous hikes at the moment. What I've decided, because I have given myself a bit of a hiking challenge for 2020 and I like lists, <laughs> is that I'm going to start off with some really easy hikes. Hikes of this area, and because I love lists so much, I'm gonna pick all the easy hikes here in Whatcom County and do a different one as often as I can. So depending on the weather, depending on you know my availability, I'm gonna try and get out on the path as often as I possibly can. So part of this is gonna be like a reference slash travel give you an idea of what the hikes and trails are like out here in Whatcom County but it's also gonna kind of be a bit of a personal journey I want to share with you a little bit of my journey into getting healthy again and getting out in nature feeling the confidence that I used to feel in just getting myself out there That is a huge root wad. I'm standing right next to it. Woo. So these are called snowberries. As you can tell from the white, I mean, there's a ton around this time of year. And then you can get these little red ones as well. I can't remember what those are called at the moment, but we get the red berries and the white berries. It's really pretty. This is how it looks in winter. This is a pretty bare area. I imagine it's really green come, come the spring when things start popping up. But it looks like we're coming up to one of the overlooks. I'm seeing little hints of the ocean. So here is the second lookout. There's my little buddy <laughs> coming out to check out the view with me. Oh, nope. He's making a quick run for it. Nice little seated spot again. Oh, it's beautiful. Pretty sure that's straight ahead. That's Orcas Island. And then Lummi Island would be over there. That might even be one of the other islands south of Orcas Island. It's useful to point out that this is a very good hike for people with any level of fitness. If you can handle a one and a half mile round trip hike, but it's very flat. You're not doing any up and downhill climbing. At least up until you get to the part where you can go down to the beach. Look how purple those roots are. That's, I'm thinking it's just a blackberry bush, but it's really cool. It's like fluorescent purple. Oh, yep, there's that trail close sign. So it looks like this is about as far as I can go at this point. It's probably because there's a bit of washed out trail down below. But yeah, it looks like this is where the trail goes. Thank you.
thank you so much for coming on this little adventure with me. I feel good. I had a couple of moments where I was feeling a little out of breath and it was mostly because I was trying to talk and record at the same time, but on my way back I'm going to go ahead and just walk it and not film anything so I get a, a good workout, but honestly, I need to get out more. It just feels so good to be out in nature, you know? It feels good to be out here. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my other hiking adventures and so you can also catch some of my travel adventures in the Pacific Northwest and other areas as well. This area has a lot of deciduous trees, which is why we're not seeing very many leaves. You've got a couple of firs, but probably a lot of cottonwoods and alders. And not quite ready for the spring yet. Don't get too excited, Amy. <laughs> <laughs>